Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to show you how to clean up your drive to claim more space but even better how to clean up all those pesky Windows update files that actually are left behind when you actually do updates and uh, you know on a small tablet or on a computer that has a very small hard drive this can make a difference between you know no space and having enough space to actually work um, how do you claim this space? The first thing you need to do is go into your File Explorer. Simply click on the File Explorer window. On the left side, you should see this PC and your hard drive, your C drive. If you don't see that, you can go into the View panel at the top and just make sure that in Navigation Pane, you have a check mark in front of Navigation Pane. There, you'll click on your right click on your C drive, click Properties, and click the Disk Cleanup Utility. Now, I must warn you, this can take several minutes before the Disk Cleanup Utility finishes and shows you everything it can remove. What it will do is give you this list of things you can remove on your computer. For example, I have debug dump files that take almost one gigabyte here, as you see. This is a lot of stuff. Um, you've got, again, system error, memory dump files, and so on. So there's a lot of stuff that accumulates with time. Now you might say, yeah, I've done that. But there's a second step that you can take. If you look at the bottom of the disk cleanup utility, there's something called cleanup system files. Click on that. This will not only bring you the cleanup utility that you see normally, but it will also add all the options to remove old Windows Update files, uh, old driver files that might not be needed anymore, all sorts of uh, old stuff that the system will leave behind. And this will also take a lot of time. So. Uh, you know, the first option of the disk cleanup might take several minutes before it shows up on your computer. Well, this one might take several minutes and be actually very, very long. So be patient and give it time. There you will see the different files and the different options that it will bring you back. So just, you know, let it go. So we're going to let it go here. And um, why the disk cleanup utility is very useful, you know, if you have a very small drive, I've got a tablet, a Windows 8.1 tablet, that is actually so uh, small, only 16 gigabyte of drive space, that it's just, um, you know, almost impossible to use really unless you do a disk cleanup regularly. Because every time I get Windows updates, my drive will suddenly shrink one gigabyte, 1.5 gigabyte, and so on. So it's very uh, annoying at times. So that's why the disk cleanup and especially that portion where you can actually remove Windows system files is very, very important, very interesting. Uh, one of the questions that a lot of people ask me is uh, doing a cleanup or a system a disk cleanup like this Will it make my system go faster? Um, technically, it might slightly go faster, but usually, unless you have really no space left on your hard drive, it's um, not easy to see a difference in speed. Um, I'd say this is mostly to actually claim some disk space when you're really short. Uh, much more than having a, a computer run much faster. And you know, there's, of course, nothing wrong with removing old files and temporary files and stuff like that with the disk cleanup and run it regularly. And you know, if you run the disk cleanup actually regularly, one of the things also that it's going to do is it's going to be faster every time you run it. It could be, you know, part of your routine to simply click on the disk cleanup utility and just uh, you know let it run and remove the files that it finds 
um, once a week or once a month. Um, it, it will be a lot faster because there's going to be a lot less garbage left behind in the Windows updates. So as you see, it's a quite a long experience and it's probably even longer because since I am doing a screen shot or screen recording, it probably slows down the process here on the computer. This cleanup will not break your computer. I've read somewhere someone that says, well, my hard drive crashed because I did a disk cleanup. Well, your hard drive did not crash because of a disk cleanup, that's for sure. Um, if it crashed, it's because it was really, really close to uh, crashing on your system. Once uh, it's done the job, then you'll see all the options where you can actually put the check marks and remove all the files on your computer. Um, I'm going to wait a few seconds more here, but if it doesn't show up, um, I will uh, probably not have that window to show you because it's a little long here. But, um, you know, once this is over, you'll have a little window of disk utility. Anything that you remove from the list in the disk utility is okay. Uh, the disk utility or the disk cleanup utility actually does not endanger anything in your computer. Everything that it wants to remove, it removes. Um, it, it's pretty safe to remove. So here you have Windows Update Cleanup that wasn't there before. And you see here I've got 200 megabytes, 250 megabytes of uh, disk cleanup, 260. So you see all the stuff that you can actually remove. So all you have to do is simply go through the list and make sure you remove everything that is huge. Uh, here, debug files. I don't want this. What else? Point ninety eight system error files. Uh, you know, very everything that's very very big. You'll want to uh, Windows upgrade log log files and stuff like that. And you see here, it tells you the total amount of disk space you will gain. I will gain two and a half gigabyte, which is very nice. All you have to do is click OK once you want to do that and click delete files and that's what it's going to do if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions maybe you have a problem or something you'd like to know let us know we'll try to post that video online thank you for watching and hope to see you soon bye bye